people's lenses limit what they're able to get out get out of this world question mark like receive like experience like like for example i'm a guy i think i have some attractive call or apparently i have <laughs> apparently i have a big penis apparently from because i've modeled at msum and a dude that was in one of those classes came to a like little get together at um a friend's place and like remember me and it said something about that and then like last like last year there was um there was a girl that i was like like i haven't had sex with a girl but like or even like But that was the first time that I, like, touched bare breasts, I think. But, like, that was, like, that was also the first time I made out with someone was, like, last year. And then she was talking about she just wanted to be friends. Like, that's not, like, that's not how I operate. Like, there should at least be consideration. I would, I would think if, if all that is happening, there should have, like, essentially the direction should be, like, like, to be together type stuff, like, that, like, like, that should at least be, like, what's the trajectory, kind of, like, and, uh, any, something like that, anyway, but, um, but, so that's a trade that, but, I mean, <laughs> But, oh, but she, but she, she said something because she, like, intentionally or unintentionally made contact with, like, not directly, but at least, like, on top of my pants, kind of, and was, and I think, I think she said something that implied that it was big, but, anyway, I have, like, suborg dermatitis, I have, like, sit, like, I always got stuff in my beard, like, so, but I think some people like the beard, so, meh. Really, something threw me off, like, years ago, because years ago, like, maybe more, maybe more so before I came up to the FM area, like, I used to just, like, cut all my hair when it got long, but at the Y, there was a girl that was a tell-it-like-it-is kind of girl, like, someone whose opinion you can trust, and I remember one time I, like, asked her, like, should I shave, and she was, like, and she said no, kind of more or less, um, and... So I don't know if that's what just like, and then I started doing a thing where like, I started like making my hair like metaphorical. So like back when I had like more or less my own places or like I was a roommate and like showered like every day, um, more or less, well, not every day, but closer to that than I am now for sure. But, um, like so I, when I shut, when I would shower, I would like comb my hair and stuff. And like, there's some hair that will come off from that, that aren't rooted strongly. And so like, so that's one aspect of this metaphor. So, but there was a metaphor before for me, for my hair of like, for like people, how like some people will grow faster than others. And you can't make the people that aren't growing as fast grow, um, like, you can't, you can't make the shorter hairs of the people that are, like, you can't make them, you can't make them, like, I don't know what, like, in this moment, I'm kind of blanking on, like, if, like, the hair would be equivalent of, like, your abilities or, like, talent or growth or skill, like, I'm kind of in the moment blanking of what that would represent that way, but, like, there are pe like let's just say people are developing at their own pace in life. There are some people that are gonna be like, a, like ahead of the curve. The like great people that are like the longer hairs, and there's gonna be like people that are the shorter hairs. And you can't make the short hairs be longer, and you can't make you're not gonna make the long hairs be like less. So everyone grows at their own pace. But there will come like there will come the time that I'm showering, and whoever isn't strongly rooted will be gone. 
but um so that was like maybe the first metaphor for my hair that i had but um so but that but that didn't like look good like and especially like looking back like that did and i always have food in my beard um and then now i was starting to like the latest almost metaphor was like to try to use like scissors to like so maybe not so much a metaphor but like i guess this wouldn't be a this might not necessarily be a metaphor but like to cut my hair like with scissors and kind of like just shape it every day almost like the bonsai tree with like miyagi mr miyagi and like karate kid um but i feel weird about cutting my hair in people like the family that i stayed with last year i felt comfortable cutting in their bathroom even though i felt i think i think that kind of like through um threw her off or something like she didn't like because i remember one time she asked like do you cut your hair every day or, or something like that i don't know um and i think i might have been leaving like I try. I really try to. I, I try to clean up after myself, but apparently there are still hairs sometimes that would be left there. Um, but like here, like it's weird because I feel comfortable like doing laundry here, whereas I didn't feel comfortable doing laundry there. There, um, and I felt comfortable cutting hair there, but I don't feel comfortable cutting hair here because it just certain like boundaries of like what's a, what's i don't know like appropriate or something but uh but yeah but i haven't really been doing that i feel and because i so even though it's the metaphor or not metaphor is or the thing is supposed to be like shaping my hair day by day and like maybe not even looking at the mirror and just kind of like developing a like kind of being able to feel out or to know what like works or like to kind of like come to the point of like being able to like tell by feeling or just get into a rhythm almost or an un like in tune with like knowing even without per se looking at the mirror kind of like or maybe without looking at like the mirror for like the back of the head maybe more so um because i guess the back of the head is where like you really can't see but to just kind of like by trial and kind of by trial and error but like by by practice by feeling it out to like know what works but because i feel and i don't because i feel weird about like cutting my hair and like even if i clean it and put it into a bag like i don't feel that doesn't feel that feels weird. It doesn't feel right to put bags of my hair in like places. Now that I have a now that I have a membership at Planet Fitness, I might feel comfortable doing it there since I'm like like that might feel okay. Um so shoot, so I actually get shoot, maybe I should just do that. Because I might feel comfortable doing it there, but I'm not a Planet Fitness every day, but um Anyway, this, uh, where do I go from here? Because one, I need to leave soon, I think. Two, this is not what I thought I was going to do for this video. Like, the beginning of this video was supposed to be about lenses. And then I started talking about, like, my qualities. Um. <laughs> but, um, the thing about lenses, like, I think there's, like, I have my like my weak spots or insecurities or um like things that could annoy a person but i have like great relationship potential um i feel like but people are so i think people in this culture are so like damaged by and like in this culture people are dating when they're like super young like like you they just like people are so damaged that like they like they can only see guys a certain like a certain way like if they're if it's not off of like being overtaken by attractiveness or sex may, maybe i can't say that because maybe it's not just attractiveness and being overtaken by 
because like attraction is like a force that can like overtake you or love i mean love is too or they overlap they're the same i don't know i'm kind of just saying stuff now but like when your lens is limited it limits what you can like take in like like it's one thing if like i wasn't attractive to someone but like i think or maybe there's something in me that doesn't look tr that like people that a woman just can't find like security in because like i'm kind of learning a little bit about women or speculating like more a little bit but um but whether it's women not being able to like believe in men like because of all the stuff they've gone through or we could even say vice versa like men and women or um like with me and like how i live these days like so, like people ask like are you homeless and they like that already has such a negative connotation and they're already like confining the like that gives me like little opera with how i am that gives me like little operating room like it like Like, I'm confined by their lenses, kind of, or the culture's lenses or something. But then, another thing that I thought recently is that, what if, like, what if the big connotation or big negative connotation that I have with, I mean, this isn't exactly the words that I thought it in, but this is kind of the idea. Like, the big negative connotation with homelessness, like, what if that's from me? Because I'm like, when people say like, are you homeless? Like I, that is like, I see that a certain way, but what if that's from me? Because I like, what if they don't see that word as negatively as I do? So, but point of all this being, um, or kind of the main point of this being that like, your lenses can confine you. Like if, if you can only, perceive things a certain way or you like you can be limited by your lenses there might be beauty that could be experienced by you if your if your lens would be open enough to be able to receive it but maybe you don't because you're so damaged or you only know how to look at something one way and some of this may apply to me too or could apply to me too in other, in other aspects or certain aspects of life. Like I said, the the homelessness thing, like that might be, what if that's, it's my connotation, that's the way to like, what if they don't see that, that negatively? Or have as big of a negative connotation? Like there's probably at least a little negative connotation that comes with that word, but what if the heaviness comes from me?